As you can probably guess by the title of this show, I'm a fan of old school 1980s video games, like Centipede. And I consider the original 1980 Centipede one of the best, because it was a truly brilliant game coupled with a unique control system, which worked with a trackball, a control scheme that sadly has not flourished over time. How many modern controllers have trackballs? A control scheme that has withstood the test of time is the Robotron 2084 style twin stick controls, which is how you play Centipede Infestation. Which has a deep storyline, where Maisie is the last pretty girl left on Earth, and as Max, your mission is simple, to save the human race by shooting insects. Uh, hi. And yes, the game has a flamethrower, a very effective weapon against mutated insects of the future. So if you've ever played the original Centipede, you can tell right away the game bears little resemblance to the arcade classic. It has far more in common with another arcade classic, Robotron 2084. Not a bad thing. I've seen these 80s remakes come and go, usually with little fanfare. In fact, I reviewed Centipede for the Sega Dreamcast which was a 2000 release, I think, that tried all new things with Centipede. But I think that most of the 80s remakes up to this point have tried to appeal to fans of the original in some way. This game, however, is squarely aimed at a generation that has never played the original Centipede. Children of Centipede fans, if you will, who might know the name, but never the joy of playing with the trackball. It's rated E10+, plus. it has anime-inspired cutscenes, which tell the storyline that's mildly interesting. I mean, you need to know if Max succeeds in his mission to repopulate the human race by helping to plant flowers and trees and stuff. Of course it is. When you shoot enemies, a number of them will drop seeds that you can pick up for special weapons or additional turrets that give you backup support. As you make your way through the game and the storyline, you encounter new insects, but always a familiar few from the original Centipede arcade game, including the Centipede, which seems to come out at the end, and then you shoot it in the middle and then blow away the two additional halves and shoot the mushrooms for points. It's like they kind of shoehorned that character into the game. But for what it's worth, Centipede Infestation is a fun, enjoyable twin-stick style shooter that you can play with the Nintendo Wii Classic controller. In fact, that's how I would recommend playing it. Because it has two analog sticks, perfect for twin-stick shooters. The level design is fairly bland, but the weapon selection is quite good in Centipede Infestation. You have a flamethrower, various machine gun style guns, a nuking weapon, electrocution beam, freeze rays, there's a number of unlockables, including characters and songs and concept art that you earn while playing the game. You're scoring points. And if you're buying this one for your kids, it's generally fairly easy on the normal setting. Like the majority of modern releases with an E rating, the game doesn't put up too much of a fight until you switch it to hard. That's where the arcade veterans will find a challenge and find Centipede Infestation worthy of playing. This is a fun, affordable release for the Nintendo Wii that's published by Atari and packs a lot of levels, a lot of unlockables, and quite a bit of fun. Just don't expect the original Centipede. I should mention that every couple levels you'll encounter an end boss like this one. Sometimes they put up quite a fight. While Centipede Infestation is fairly forgiving if you're just trying to make your way through the game, if you'd like to challenge yourself by playing on the hard setting and going for some high scores, that's where its arcade heritage is revealed. You can also enjoy Centipede Infestation in a two-player co-op mode. I found this one to be a nice release in a sea of otherwise bland big-budget titles. It's an easy game for those of any video game experience level to pick up and play, but a challenging one to truly master. It's good old-school arcade-inspired fun with Centipede Infestation. And once you start playing, you've got to know if Max succeeds at his mission. These plants... I've never seen them before. What, the small green ones? <laughs> That's grass, Max. I'm talking about the flowers. Oh. This is amazing. It truly is amazing that this game has a flamethrower. 